What's up, guys? My name is Satyan Sierra, and welcome to another episode of Hablando Shit. Today, I have guest artist extraordinaire, K-pop aficionado, Jeannie Liano. How are you doing today? Hey, good evening, guys. Uh, I'm doing pretty well. I uh, can't complain. How about you, Sebastian? Yeah. Doing pretty good around the whole circumstances that we're going to talk about today. The the news that broke and shattered the world for like at least a whole day so far. Uh, I just want to talk about. Uh, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I could pretty much tell. Yeah, it's this, this news that I guess we're going to talk about the out of nowhere news of the conclusion slash I guess can we say breakup of that punk? Can we say it's a breakup? I I, I, I want to say the word retirement. That's pretty much the appropriate term I wanted to. Uh, yeah, right. Say. Retirement because, because of their their hit their long history of like discographies and like uh, their careers. It's um, oh yeah. I I, I I I yeah. Um, didn't say it, it was like shocking to me. I was just oh really yeah, okay. Oh, I mean, for I, I, me. I, I pretty you know pretty bummed that you're not continuing anymore. But I was like, yeah. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> For me, it was unexpected. I, I was just, I woke up and then I saw stuff on, on my feed on Facebook. I was like, no way. Like, what? And I saw the video, which we'll talk about. But I was like, oh, this is, this is real. This just, boom, we're done. And, and that's it. <laughs> I was like, wow. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, it has been many, wow. What, what, what was the last time they did an album or a song? It was like 20. 13? Um, I, I want to I, I wanna say it was um, Random Access Memories is probably their last um, effort together. Oh, Unless, that's true. Because I know like they've done a lot of collaborations with other artists after that, but that's true. other than that, I, do not, I don't remember if they made an actual studio album after Random Access. That's true. I can't, I remember, because I remember, I, f- I forget, but they did the, what was that song from The Weeknd? Uh, the, my, uh, I feel it coming. Yeah, yeah. It's like that. That was a pretty good song. That's like the one of the last things I've ever heard from them. That was like what twenty seventeen, maybe a little bit more. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, yes, but it's been a while. It's been a yeah, long while, and, and then to, for them to <laughs> post this video out of nowhere and you're like, yeah, we're we're done. I'm like, oh my god, it, it it was crazy. And I mean, I just wanted to us to talk about their career for what we know um you know the stuff that we like obviously their extensive career because they've done like you like you say a lot of albums done soundtracks for movies as we're going to talk about um a lot of stuff i just want to talk about but of course if you guys don't know what happened this is the the little video that was announced today this video right here titled epilogue which if i'm not mistaken this is from was it, is, is it an excerpt from a movie that they did? Yes, it was an excerpt from a movie. Um, uh, it was it's a 2006 um, a film directed by them called Electroma. They've done a oh, bit okay. a bit of like um, films before, and then like this is like one of their most well known. Okay, but I mean, is, is this all from like the movie? This whole scene, they, they didn't shoot anything new. No, no, th- there's nothing like new that came out. It's just like they did that. They did that. Um, used an old clip. From the movie, it's like one of like, the most significant parts um, that happened, where the sil- the the silver robot, um, <laughs> blew, you know, blew up. Uh, yeah, it, exactly. it's been a long time. I forgot like what the what the plot is about because it was a kind of avant garde um, kind of journey that um, they experimented on, which is like really fitting for for their kind of um, style. Yeah, because this is a ceremonious way to say we're done. <laughs> Just blow yourself I up. Guess, like, yeah. I guess it blow yourself up. <laughs> like, like damn. Robotic, uh, traditional step or two. <laughs> that was crazy. I've, I've never, I didn't even know they did a movie. I didn't even know. But once I saw this, I thought they actually did this whole video, like this, this whole no, storyline. If, if, if you could tell, if you could tell, that's like, that's one of their, their old, um, or yeah, like one of their, like the more older, um, formal um attire like the one with the leather jacket because um in more of like their recent um recent style like they wore more of like a suit and tie and like their their stuff and their like um helmets were more like uh okay more uh, updated like more you know like with more gl- glisten into them yeah, Green, yeah. <laughs> as is more i could say yeah. yeah oh that's right i i, I haven't i haven't seen them in, in a long time i i, I remember hearing this like their collaborations with Pharrell Williams, we'll, we'll talk about a little bit, but mm-hmm. it, it was, I just, I thought this whole video was like new. They just filmed it for like an announcement, like we're done. 
And just for that little bit of that eight minutes of, of video, it was kind of beautiful in a way. I was like, wow, this is heartbreaking. It's tragic in a way. It's the end of an era and him walking away. I was like, wow, this is kind of a cool way to announce it. Announce that we're done. <laughs> man, wow. I could, I, man, like we're talking about Daft Punk, but um, I couldn't imagine, I couldn't imagine if like, um, gorillas were to you know like end their um their career and just like yeah. Yeah, just to see what they're what they're gonna like do some kind of heartbreaking ending oh, of, like the, the virtual characters like oh no please no oh and, uh, no that, <laughs> no that would be oh my god that would be sad that, that, that'd be sad but so, man this... gonna get, get... oh no yeah one but this is gonna video. get killed off or like yeah one of those gonna get killed off <laughs> get killed off <laughs> oh no hopefully hopefully that's a long way ahead. Hopefully it's not coming up soon, but that, that'd be, that'd be something. But man, this video, which I, I saw it did like 8 million views already, which is it's number one on trending. Yeah. It's yeah. insane. I, I didn't even know people would be just taken aback with it. I thought, you know, it would be more, I, I know they have a huge audience, but I didn't know it was going to be this massive of news that people were reacting pretty uh, sad about. I think, I think it's not just it's just not just like the the ones who are really familiar with their music, but also the the people like the more of the pop culture um, demographic because they're more familiar with um, their work on Tron Legacy. So I think mm -hmm. um, um, those can, like those people combined like really made like this news really such a shock to them, and then a lot of them thought they would be back for more like Tron projects too, but. That yeah right that really happening and like, yeah, just, yeah. like yeah i have no interest in watching try anymore <laughs> the, the, the music on on the second movie charm legacy pretty much shaped um a lot of uh, i guess admiration or like a liking to the movie to, to an ex extent because they're yeah it, it's such a memorable unique um, soundtrack and it's really uh fitting for uh, like uh, a style like like tron yes because you know? i mean the whole their music for that movie basically shaped up the entire film and gave the personality to exactly. it, in my opinion. Exactly. With and yeah, the rest of the story, what, what story? It's like it's more like the style, the music, and yeah, like the, oh. Last, uh, oh, yeah. That, the story. That movie, there's barely any story in that movie. The, it, it was it was all about just cool visuals and slow motion with the with yeah, Daft Punk's yeah. music behind it. Was so it was more like a music video more than anything. But I know, yeah. The music shook up the whole the whole movie, but what 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 was your introduction to you, if you remember to Def Punk? Like, how did you start um, like, I, following them? I think the first introduction to um, Def Punk was Kanye West. Um, it was like during the, the mid two thousands when like Stronger was such a um, oh, that's right. such a repeatable um, song in the radio. Mm -hmm. I had no idea. Um, like that was an original. Um, they sampled greatly from Def Punk's "Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger." Yeah, uh, but other than that, um, I think like the when when the time the time I um gotten into more of their music was thanks to again again Tron Legacy. I like started listening to like the score, and you know, being I remember being so in love with it. I I remember that like really um entertained my time when I like went to a really small town in um Ontario to visit family, mm -hmm. and yeah and. Even like yeah, when I move on to um, university, I had like a phase with um, Daft Punk where I listened, to, um, I listened to a lot of their their random access memories um, tracks, mm. yeah. and even revisited um, some of like their old um, classics such as the Funk, um, yeah, like um, Voyager, and mm -hmm. um, yeah, One More Time, all of those like those you know unforgettable hits. Oh and yeah, it, yeah, it, um. Really, yeah, I really admired um, like their work. Even like even listen listen to um, the interviews uh, from the robots themselves, whose name mm -hmm. are um, Thomas um, or Thomas Bangletter. He he plays a silver robot, and Guy Manuel de Onem Cristo, who is the the gold the gold robot. So I just okay. like when I heard um, when I heard their voices for the first time, I was like, oh my gosh, like I kind of have like, a <laughs> bit of a crush on like the, the those. Um, characters or like the, the guys themselves it's just like mm -hmm. so so unreal like listening to them speak and uh, not in was... like uh, away from like their ro robotic personas and yeah. um it, it was um surreal 
um, listening to um, their voices and, you know, like speaking like in such a normal tone. No, it, it was, I barely, I think I've only seen their faces maybe once or twice, like barely like a picture or something, but it's those robot characters that, because I don't know if, if you're like me, I, I sometimes I forget like, yeah, there's people behind those masks. It's like they, yeah. they sell it. I don't know. It's just the way the design, the way that they just, they use it all the time. I, it's just, I don't know. It, it, I, sometimes I forget there's like people. Yeah, there's actually people behind it. Like I believe those are real robots. I mean, not robots, but like robot-ish people, kind of. Like something weird. I just, I keep forgetting those are like people up behind a mask or something sometimes. So they sold the whole thing, but like their costumes and, you know, with style of music. I just think it's unique. I think it's I, I think it's safe to say to inspire people like Dead Mouse, right? Like other Dead Mouse and other DJs yeah. that do the same thing. Like they're revolutionary. Like even their music, I was hearing uh the first album, and I'm trying to after this I'll keep listening to her whole uh, discography. Mm-hmm. But man, okay. I, I, even though it's like electronic music, there's a lot of funk to it, obviously, like funk. Yes, music. they're really inspired by a lot of like um like 70s um you know, like funk, R and B, um, and yeah, a lot of those uh, those classic um, groups um, back in the seventies. Like I know they yes. they done with like uh, Na- Nile Rogers from um, Chic, and mm-hmm. um, yeah, like they even like um like other electronic um sounds like um, Georgia Marauder, and mm-hmm. yeah, like they've uh, collab with a lot of those like those really great you know um, yeah. artists back then. Back yeah, in the even day. their last album was full on funk if like, if you were doubting they have some funk elements like the last album like for all those people it was full on like inspired by it. and i i love yes. that yeah i just i love how they're different styles have different flavors and it's not it's not repetitive like because electronic music unfortunately sometimes can be repetitive and that funk just keeps it fresh all the time all the time yeah and i just I love remember, like- stuff yeah, I remembered um, I was like, you know, so big into like this really retro um, music that back then that I, you know, I wish like more pop uh, music could, you know, obtain, mm-hmm. attain some of those elements back. And before we had like, before we had the weekend and then even like um, probably Doja Cat to an extent, like doing yeah. like going back into like those retro sounds. It was some um, Daft Punk who like revived that, um, that sound and then like made it more modern and like more people to you know appreciate and enjoy like oh, get lucky yeah. was such a such a huge um you know song played in the radio yes oh that, that i love that song I, and that was like it was almost like a summer song right i think it came out around like the summer of that year and i remember yeah, hearing yeah, that I song so. but the whole summer almost like the whole year that that song is mm-hmm. amazing and I, I just again i love their style because because i just noticed today just thinking back like They've somehow been a part of my life since elementary school. Not like I was super into Daft Punk, but I remember listening to like One More Time, and I yeah, still one remember, more time. I, I still picture that the video in my head. Like, it's what I love about that video. By the way, it's just it reminds me of those days from like Toonami or stuff like that. Like, it just feels like yeah, yeah, warm that's and another, like cool. Yeah, I think it's, that's another um, another music film made by them. It's called Interstellar, I believe. Uh, mm. Let me just um, check. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, Interstellar five 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 fifty five okifty okay. five. So, like all those characters, they came from that 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 movie, and they were involved in making that. Okay, was that was that like a nineties movie? Because it gave me it gave me like a lot of nineties like anime feel, almost it's actually, like late eighties. Um, made made in two thousand three. Oh wow! It gave me like late eighties like early 90s anime style i just yeah it made me feel good that video just makes me feel good with a song i'm like wow this is i love it i don't know it's just it's a part of my childhood for yeah. some reason it's all act- the way till get lucky yeah it's actually okay it's actually a separate uh, movie made by um like you know japanese um animators and i think um daft punk um was able to um, I think have I guess have rights to use those clips into their um, uh, music, so it's like okay. a good companion piece to their Discovery era, era album. Oh, for sure, because I, I thought they actually found some animators to do like an actual anime video because it looks so yeah. good. I'm like, wow, how do you even do this? But 
I, I didn't know that. I didn't know they took an excerpt from that movie. To, uh, to do a yeah. Video, but I think people yeah. will be able, will probably like uh, visit and you know watch the whole movie. Oh yeah, no probably the so. whole movie. Dude, I, I think like Spotify and iTunes must be blowing up with Daft Punk. That's almost Daft be, Punk like, rising up. Discography. Oh my god, Daft Punk it must be rising and. I, I don't know. It's just I love their music. I love everything they did. But do you think this, this the way that they ended, seemingly ended things now is was it ceremoniously? Was it the best way to do it? Like, how do you feel about this conclusion? How do you feel about this? Yeah, I think it's like one of the most appropriate, like um, I guess, way for them to um, say that yeah, they are uh, retiring and no longer like be working together. It's um. Also, yeah, you know, pretty much um, like sums up like their whole career and like how you know they have a lot of like really avant garde, um, a bit of like surreal style into like um, with you know with their characters and um, you know with their eras like they've done and made music. It's um, yeah, very very Daft Punk for them to I guess like announce <laughs> their disbandment and uh, yeah. Like, I don't know what else they can do. Like just talk, then <laughs> just talk. Like, oh yeah, we're, we're you know, and we're, we'll be disbanding. We're you know, we're breaking up. Yeah, uh, yeah it's such a really, a really artistic way for them to um, present it. Yeah, it's, it's very, interesting. You know, very, very like dramatic. You know, mm-hmm. a bit epic, uh, like a bit like heartbreaking for people um, no. who like were taken taken by surprise uh, by the news. I just, yeah, I think yeah, I think it was a kind of a cool. Daft Punk way of just just coming out of nowhere with it, not making a whole press release about it. It's just like, hey, here's a video. You no guys, Twitter you announcements. Guys, yeah, no Twitter announcement. I, I mean, they asked the, their publicist, and that was like the first like ever confirmation from anything close to them. But yeah. I, I think I think it was great. But at the same time, for me, it's like, although I like the whole, I don't know if it was like a mystery, like air to it like oh what's going on but i would have liked if they at least did like a farewell album or something or at least a song or something kind of like yeah hey, yeah like end of things like and we're done something like that i still think is this is almost semi unceremoniously like hey here's a video from a movie that we did like almost a decade ago and we're done like, oh okay yeah like, yeah i i feel the same way i, I get i get what you mean they, yeah i'm like gonna be like artists right now like they like they always come in a rare occasion, you know. It's like mm-hmm. they haven't like um, done any like frequent amount of like um, release um, or albums um, as much as uh, any other artist. Like they would like um, come up with an album, then be gone, and then like years later, oh, we're back with a new album. You know, mm-hmm. I don't know what ha- like I don't know what what made them or caused them to uh, you know like um, this band. I don't know if yeah. it was like, creative differences or. I don't know, like, they don't just feel like, you know, making other, you know, more music anymore. Mm-hmm. So, I, like, we wouldn't I, know. We wouldn't know why they um, said not to, like, make, like, a final album together. Yeah, it was it was strange. It's like, even though it was from a scene from a movie, like, what I kind of interpreted from that, from their epilogue, it's, it's like, yeah, they kind of broke up for whatever reason. I don't they, know. They, some... they got killed off. They died. Yeah, right. they blew up. They were like, well, because like, I don't know, because even from the start, like when I saw the silver robot, what, what was his name? Thomas, right? Tomas? Uh, like, he's yeah, just he's like, like, his real name is some Tom, Tom, Thomas or Toma in French oh, pronunciation. But, yeah. Like, when I saw him, like, just walking back, I don't know, it made, me, it made me feel like the other guy was like, hey, I'll just keep going. And the other guy's like, I'm, I don't want to, I don't know. I'm, I just don't um, want to be there anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I'm it feel to like... like spoil what happened in the movie because it's kind <laughs> of like a tragic um, like journey, uh, like following the robots in that movie, Ele- Electroma. Yeah, it's kind of a sad, yeah, sad ending. What happens to the movie? I mean, that I guess you can tell me what I mean. Spoiler alert for people who haven't seen Electroma, but I want to know what happens to that movie for people. I don't, that know. Know. I don't know what happened. I don't know what made them like um, the silver robot needed to self destruct i don't know if he had something wrong with him but i know like he like tried to convince golden robot um guy manuel they had he has to like um you know kill him try to you know kill him mm-hmm. and um yeah like the golden robot he was like hesitant and so and until he decided okay yeah i need to let you go pushed like the self-destruct and then like you know silver bot uh, walked off 
blew up. And then Gold Robot got like really depressed because he's all alone in the desert. And then, <laughs> um, yeah, he, I know they took off like their helmets at one point. And yeah, the, oh, did they? Yeah, the Gold Robot like took off his helmet and it looks so like wiry with like this one oh, eye. Thing. That's cool. It looks like it's really, it's, like, it's really weird. Like, I'm kind of creeped out by it. Oh, okay. Like, he's, like burned off. And, like he burned up and just walked. Oh, I think I he saw a picture of that. I think yeah. I saw a picture of that. Oh, yeah, that's creepy looking. Yeah, it's very creepy looking. But, yeah, that whole video, epilogue video, it was, it was upsetting and sad. Hopefully, I, I hope it's nothing between them. I hope there's nothing, like, yeah, their bond. Because I, I, I saw their, their bio, and, like, they they met all the way since, like, 1987 from, like, they were in high school or something. 19, so. Yeah, high school friends. Um, Yeah, they started, like, you know, working 1993 with um, coming up with, like, how some music projects and um mm-hmm. yeah, pretty much um went on from there yeah i hope they, they they left together on like um you know amicable terms like they yeah. have no beef with each other yeah, like, hope I really not. Hope not. yeah I, like because they've they've been together for cricket you know thick and thin like for almost almost 30 years yeah almost 30 so, years so the end like that i mean it's been a couple years since the last production so uh, hopefully it's yeah. nothing like it's fighting about yeah, it's it, it's the video is like the equivalent of uh, David Bowie's uh, pr- final project before oh, he left yeah. with um yeah Black Star like his mm-hmm. two music videos. It's kind of oh, like that's... that, like their farewell videos. It was it was like it was like that, but I I don't know. Like, do you? Because I think although this is like fresh, it's still like the first day since it broke out. But do you think they'll they'll come back later? Maybe they'll speak on it, or are they gonna come up with a surprise project like the finalized things or or, or, or this is it i'm not sure i'm more of like the optimistic um hopefully there will be a time um you know if they feel like it they could come back and just like do some you know a couple of um couple of tracks and then just like okay like go off because probably yeah I, like, I don't know if they're going to be doing any like solo work some um, to themselves because you know like they're in almost in their 50s so i don't know if they're retiring completely from like, oh music. yeah and yeah that, that'll be something cool to keep an eye out like because I, I i forget their faces so maybe they're actually working on stuff and we just don't know <laughs> like, yeah, I'm behind pretty the sure that yeah I, i'm pretty i think i think they're probably going to be like doing solo works they probably are going to be uh, yeah they're going to be like played as thomas magmater and then like Guy. Manuel, mm-hmm. so yeah. hopefully, man, that's just that's so. I I wonder what the Pharrell Willis tweet something that anybody from the I don't know. Music? I haven't like <laughs> been checking on like Twitter. Yeah. I, haven't I haven't seen like, I haven't seen what people thought. I, I Pharrell just, Williams, The Weekend, <laughs> The Weekend. Yeah. They must be like yeah. upset. But I wonder if like, people if the influence, like like I mentioned, Dead Mouse, so those people like from Electronic World. I like, wonder they must feel like something a huge part of them left it must feel like that right it's, it made it made this the whole scene like it is today i mean in my opinions and i don't know yeah. it, it's it's kind of sad it's the end of an era but mm, end of an era for sure oh yeah but i mean they've influenced a lot of people they they touch up a lot of people's lives i like it it, it kind of touched my life but i even realized i'm like oh yeah they, they've done a lot of stuff when i was like very young and Man, it's it's upsetting. I don't know. It's sad, but hey, hopefully. I yeah, for me, as much of a, as a big of a cat or casual uh, Daft Punk fan I am, um, I really didn't find I I, I was bummed for sure because you know I wish I wish they could have like made more. I could have wished they could have had a fa- final album together. Yeah. And I, like I had like some dream team collaborations that could have uh, wor- been working with too because I, yeah. I I imagine to see like them and Gorillas working together because that would be something like oh that they yeah. oh, that would... together but uh no it's not gonna not gonna yeah. happen oh that would break that that collaboration would break the world I, oh my god that would, yeah yes. that would have been like the, the avengers like um of like music yes the music industry <laughs> it would have broken the world oh my god it, it's like i think there's a lot of artists that are coming up today that would have been great for that punk to work with or Oh, Dude, yeah. soundtracks for some movies like I, i'm like if they ever did blade runner 3 that would have been great for them to do like a soundtrack mm-hmm. for it yeah. that would have been awesome but uh, i don't know maybe it's not like, like you said maybe they're, it's not like they're leaving the music scene forever maybe they'll still do something on their own like separately 
So maybe yeah, they'll still have okay. some Death Punk influences. I don't know how they'll do it. Yeah, they could be like, um, what's his name from Nine Inch Nails? Um, Trevor, Trevor something. But um, he's like worked with um, like recently with Soul. He's been oh, Trent Reznor. Really? Trent Reznor. Um, he's been yeah. He's um yeah from Nine Inch Nails. He's been becoming like a real um great composer for like movie soundtracks like um, Gone Girl and Soul. Oh. So uh, maybe there could be any potential for in, any of those um, DJs to yeah. do, like movies some um, next time. Ooh, I would like them to do. I don't. Know, I want to see them do like some awesome music. I don't know. Maybe like a John like Wick some four sci-fi <laughs> element. Um, yeah, yeah, some sci-fi, sci-fi element or like yeah. some music the soundtrack for John Wick or something. I don't know. I would. I don't know. I I wish. You know, it's upset. It's sad that this happened this way. It just came out of nowhere. What have I would have liked maybe. I mean, although, like I said, I do like the mystery flair to it. Like, oh, like it's just yeah on. But I still would have liked. I don't know. At least a statement or something. Like, hey, this is what's up. We're done. I don't know. But uh, it's it's yeah, it sucks. But and, and any other thoughts about that pump before we go? Hopefully, yeah, you know, I wish them all the best if they're still continuing with music um, on their own. And um, yeah, um, more like a bittersweet um, journey. It is an end of an era. Um, yeah. Hopefully, you know, pe- you know, people and probably like the non-fans would be more curious to see what, why they're one of like the, you know, one of the best um, musicians um, out there in the modern age for music. Yeah. And hopefully many, you know, many more people would be influenced um, with uh, from their work and you know being able to create um, more of those styles like more like their you know house music electronic like yeah. you know sharing in like with like those classic um, funk and R and B sounds so hopefully they will like they they, they will they will leave an imp- impact on you know music oh. history oh yeah they they do they did a huge impact and right now yeah they'll do. They, they put a stamp in history and oh i'm pretty sure today just from today they made a lot of money <laughs> i think they made a huge <laughs> load of money for all the streams and everything everything on, on the social media like oh my god money they must be like ups- final they must be sad final, about yeah. it but <laughs> they must be sad but also like hey we got money from this, this yeah is, we should get back together again i don't know <laughs> uh, but, i don't know yeah, yeah I, I, I would, I would even know how, like if they fought like that whole like discussion like, hey, so how are we gonna split this money like, from today? Like, like we talk to our lawyers or something? I don't know. It's it's weird, but hopefully, yeah, hopefully they can do something one last time, one more time. Ha ha. One like last time. <laughs> yeah, one last time, <laughs> or or something. But man, I'm i I'm still like their career. And I do think this will be a good way to, a good gateway, I guess, unfortunately, to let people learn more about music, like you said, find their music mm-hmm. and learn what they did and then maybe get some new tastes like they never had before with music. So I don't know. It, it's sad, For but sure. for people, let me ask you guys, what do you think about Daft Punk? What's your favorite song from Daft Punk? Favorite album from Daft Punk? Let me know. Like, do you have a favorite song, Jenny, from that pop? Um, my personal, um, it's not a, it's not a like a the track, a title track or their hits. It's an underrated favorite. Of mine. It's called Voyager from their Discover, Discover, sorry, ooh, Discovery album. Mm-hmm. Oh um, yeah. I think you're in. You know, you're just listening to that right now. Yeah, and I was listening to that yeah, right now. <laughs> really, yeah, it's. I love the atmospheric house um, beat that um, they're able to do because it. I love like those atmospheric sounds, like the songs that would make me wanna go out and travel you know and yeah. really there's like such an appropriate um title and you know really love the sound that was it, great it really I, me to go out yeah i noticed they yeah, also put, yours, um, yeah, they yours, put some yeah put some rock Sebastian. music to it mine yeah, yeah they do man for me it's 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 kind of hard because like like you said i wasn't like a huge daft punk person but i think ah uh, what, what was it Wait, let me find it up i forgot the title of it it was called oh well, well one of my favorites was around the world i like that i like the song oh, yeah. a lot i like, <laughs> I like the, the music video is so, like so weird like so I, oh, I love it. people in skin tight costumes <laughs> and... <laughs> and a stronger faster whatever i like that song too like harder better faster stronger it's, it's hard for me to pick one it's hard but those like oh just those like og days from them like 
They're my favorite. Oh, yeah. I mean, the last stuff, I not I didn't like it. I, I still like that stuff. Like, Get Lucky, like I said, I do like this song, but it's that OG, like, first two albums that I really, really like. And even Tron Legacy stuff, I, I'm not a big, I wasn't big into that uh, soundtrack, but there's, there's some stuff I do like a little bit about, about that soundtrack. I, yeah. I like, fresh, I need to, like, listen to it again yeah. and see, like, my- if I different tastes. My favorite, like, um, Tron um, Legacy soundtrack uh, from there was um, Anna the Lie, because it has, like, this really slow club beat that mm. you can, like, go, oh, yeah, like, really yeah, morose, yeah. but you sound, like, you sound so badass if you're just walking in, like, into the club. <laughs> <That's or hanging laughs> just, and um, from my favorite, some of my favorite um, tracks from Random Access Memories, like, I think one of their final um, studio work uh, was Game of Love, which um, Tom Toma Bangladesh sang with his like r- robotic voice. Oh and yeah, yeah, it was like really it's a cent- it's a central piece. Like it kind of maybe catch feelings for like the silver robot that's like my my bias <laughs> uh, in sort of way. And you have yeah, look at that and you, you're like, check out the fo- their black and white photo shoots with Mila Yogovic. Yogovic, um, it, it's like it looks pretty sexy, like with you know the robots and like her together and then like have like this really um alluring um uh, alluring up like you know like shots together like ooh. ooh <laughs> and, i gotta i gotta yeah. check those pictures out i gotta check that oh, out yeah. you're gonna be like, posting that on facebook i i know it but, <laughs> you know, oh yeah so, just yeah, follow me on and, social media for that stuff follow me for all those great content yeah. <laughs> uh, i think my other one is um instant crush uh, when they um played with um julian casablancas from the strokes mm. uh yeah i love that too it has like this really yeah. unrequited love um theme into it and that was like one of my um my my themes back in um in university man this is how this was a lot of good track records and they impact like i said they impacted a lot of lives impacted our both of our lives in in one way so it's sad it's it'll be unfortunate but hey if it ended up well then hey all the all the best for them that's all i want Mm -hmm. so but yeah like again like i'm asking people like what's your favorite song what's your favorite album uh, do you like that punk? Do you not like that punk? Are, are you upset about this? That Was this the best conclusion for them? Could have been better. Let me know in the comments. Let us know in the comments and we'll discuss it with you guys. So uh, but what, we want people to follow you on social media, Ginny. Uh, you can follow my design pages on Instagram at Ginny Design. So that's G-I-N-N-Y-D-E-S-I-G-N-S. And on Facebook, which is at Ginny Liano um designs so my last name l-e-a-n-o all they're all in small fonts and you can um i post my personal pages onto those um so you can just find me easily there so yeah all right perfect perfect and you guys know where to follow me so thank you jenny for being here with me to talk about daft punk one last time (laughs) so (laughs) so thank you guys for watching thank you for the support if you like this video like share subscribe And also follow Jeannie on her podcast, the Nunes Podcast, for all your favorite K-pop news and topics, all that good stuff. So follow her on that. Check that out. So thank you guys for watching. My name is Atien Sierra. Nos seguiremos aquí a las noches.